Hi guys, in this video we will learn about multi-level inheritance. It is very similar to single inheritance. In single we were using only two classes, but in multi-level you can use any number of classes. Suppose I created three classes, class A, class B and class C. And all these classes are inherited. And all these classes have display method in them. Now if I created an object of class C, let's say obj is the object of class C. Now can I access the display C function in class C by object of class A? The answer is no, we can't. Look at the arrow direction. Class B object can access class A. But A class object can only access its own display method. Suppose I have created an object of class B. So this object can access class A method as well as its own class B methods, but it can't access the class C methods. Now class C object can access all the methods which are public of class A and B and also variable. Let's use multi-level inheritance to create something useful. Suppose our aim is to code a program which will show the complete details of any employee working in that company. Let's see the structure of our code. A manager or software developer or sales manager all these people are employees and we'll create a class as employee which will store the common things. Then we'll inherit that class for example software developer will inherit employee and we'll create another class example intern which will inherit software developer class. Ok let's start coding so you can understand what I'm saying. So here I just created three classes. So class employee contains three basic things name, id and gender. Here I created a method as set basic detail which simply assign the values to our variables. So our software developer has a base salary of 5000 and years of experience current project enter by user. So I have created set details method to assign value to our variables. Inside set details I am calling set basic details just to simplify our work. I am just assigning the values. Let's add another variable as total salary. And we'll calculate salary depending upon the experience. Actually we don't need this total, I am directly saving the total salary. And experience multiply by 3000. Now this is a simple display function or method which displays all the details of software developer. 
sorry i forgot to call the calculate salary method so when the user enter the details the salary is calculated automatically now finally in turn which extends software developer i don't want to increase the length of code so let's keep in turn as it is you can add lots of thing so let's create object of class software developer and an intern inside our main function so i am creating an object of software developer and let's call the set basic details or say oh, sorry set details and let's fill in the details so this is your id number name name let's say john gender is male so m now let's create object of intern now i'm calling set details and filling up the details let's say 12 is id number and the name of the intern is sam gender is male he has no experience so zero and currently is is a trainee and let's display our details now you can see the details of both software developer and an intern i think we need space here okay, let's add some space now it's looking fine guys visit code archery and try to solve the exercises i created for you like code archery facebook page and join our group you can also support me on patreon and if you like my work then please hit that like button and share my videos thank you so much for subscribing